Hey everybody, welcome to the next installment in my G numeric tutorial series. In this video I'm going to show you how to open a CSV file and then go over some basic table formatting. So you can see here I am on a website which I'll link in the description which offers up some open source CSV files which I'll use as an example for this tutorial. For this video we're going to use this cities.csv file uh, as an example file and what I'll do here is select this link and then it's going to open up this web page then from here in order to download the CSV file all you have to do is right click save as and then press save now what you're going to want to do is open your GeneNumeric application up and you, if you have it favorited like me you'll see it to the side here but if you go to your show applications button you should see it pop up as an available application if you don't you always can type it up here if you have it installed so select GeneNumeric and then from here you're going to want to go to file open go to your downloads folder and what you see is you won't see that cities.csv file what you have to do is go down to the right hand corner and change this to all files and then you'll see this csv file pop up so select that cities.csv file and press open and you'll see that gnumeric is now populated with that csv file so now that the data is populated, the next thing you're going to want to do is save this as a Gene Numeric document. So in order to do that, you can go to File, Save As, check the file type, and it is Gene Numeric. And what you're going to want to do is get rid of this .csv file extension, and then press Save. And now you'll see that the cities.csv file is now showing up as cities.genumeric meaning that it's a genumeric file uh, file extension now so from here one of the things I like to do first is to uh, format the column headers make sure they're the right length and an easy way to do that is using the auto sizer of the columns it's pretty easy to do that. All you have to do is get in between two columns and then you'll see this right and left arrow pop up. And then from there all you have to do is double uh, left click. And then it should auto size uh, the column for you. Then another thing that I normally like to do is to add filters to the columns. Now that's pretty easy to do in GNUMERC all you have to do is highlight your your header columns and then go to data filter add auto filter and now it's going to automatically add some filters to each column and what you can do with these filters if I hit that you can select an individual item and you always can go either go back to reset uh, the table or if you select an item you you can always un, uh, get rid of the filter by scrolling all the way to the top and then selecting the all additionally you can do some other filtering rather than just an individual item so you can select this like top 10 filter and then this auto filter screen will pop up and from here you can change this count to let's say the top 10 so type in 10 then press enter and you'll see these different numbers updated and then press OK and you'll see now that just the top 10 uh, items are showing so if you hit your drop down and you scroll all the way to the top and you press all it will get rid of the filter now one of the differences between GeneNumeric and something like Excel is normally you'll see the sorting option within the, the drop down here but within GeneNumeric it's a separate uh, function 
So in order to sort a column, let's say you want column A, which is latitudes to be listed uh, smallest to largest, all you have to do is go up here to this uh, ascending uh, sort a uh, button. So from here you just select the button and then it's going to sort your column uh, smallest to largest. Let's say you don't want that, you actually want it to be largest to smallest. All you have to do is press the undo button here. And if you select the head of the column again and you select the descending sort option, now it's going to sort things largest to smallest. Again, you can press the undo button. And if also you liked that it was sorted largest to smallest, you always can do the redo, uh, hit the redo button and then I'll get it back to where the sort was. So let's set it back to where it was. And additionally, you can also go to data and there's a sort option here, which gives you a l more advanced sorting options. Another thing I like to do is to uh, colorize or bolden the, header, uh, the headers of a table. And that's pretty easy to do with NGNumeric. All you have to do is select the, the heads of the columns and then you can go over here to the background option and you hit this drop down and let's say I want to make it orange. Now you'll see that the background is orange. And additionally let's say I want to also make the headers bold. So you go over to the bold button you select that and now your headers are bold. Additionally, let's say I want to make the text a little bit bigger. Let's say I do 12. So you select the uh, text button here and you can change the size to whatever you like and then you press OK. And now you'll see that the headers have size has increased. The last thing I want to show you is how to save your file. You always can go to uh, File, Save, or press Control S to save. But additionally, you can also hit this Save button on the left here. And with that, uh, we're going to end the video there. In the next video, I'm going to show you some more advanced, advanced formatting techniques that you can do in GNUMERC.